Hi, everybody. This is Christine. I'm coming to you live from my studio in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And I am super excited to be here with you tonight for our In Color class. And I'm going to find my video real quick so I can follow along with um, the comments of you girls. I love to watch the interaction between all of you girls. So why don't you girls pop on? This is an actual in-person, um, this is an actual live class where people bought kits from me. I had 11 people sign up for this class. And so I wanna make sure some of those gals get in here as well before I go ahead and get started. And let's see if I can find myself. If you're ever trying to find me, so like let's say you're watching the replay right now, all you have to do is go to my Cards by Christine website on Facebook. It's like Cards by Christine on the Facebook website. And you should just scroll down for a little bit and you'll start to see um, a, vi a video. And it looks kind of like this, like while you're searching. And all you have to do is tap on it. And then it will appear and you can start watching. So I, I see Chris is on. Hi, Chris. Hi, Angela and Angela. I, I have Angie and Angela. So I'm so glad you girls could make it on here. So yay, good. So I've got you all signed up, ready to go here, girls. So yay. So I had some porch pickups by you girls, so that was exciting that you came and got your things. It's always fun. I know, Angela, I have some things for you. You got your pigment sprinkles today and your blue plate for embossing, and I can't wait for you to get them in your hot little hands so that you can start using them. Yay! So hey, Becky. Oh, Becky is so excited. I know you are. You are so excited that you got the stamp set and the framelits for your class tonight, and I'm gonna be featuring them. So yay, you picked yours up yesterday, so that's awesome. I hope you got to look at everything and um, peruse it to see if, if you got ideas and inspiration while you were playing with it. <laughs> so sometimes it's fun just to get new stamps and new dies and then just to think about all the endless possibilities that you could make. So Becky, you're gonna want, I don't know if you're on Pinterest or not, but that Abstract Impressions has been around for a couple catalogs now. It's been around for about two catalogs. So, so you're gonna find lots of ideas on Pinterest for that. Hi, Jolene, you found me again. That's two nights in a row, I think. <laughs> or maybe it was two days ago, I can't remember. Girls, the weeks start to blur together. This is the seventh week of lives. So seven times five is 35, <laughs> I think, right? Um, and then I did a few more. So I'm almost up to 40 lives. Is that not crazy? Hi, Kathy. So every one of them has been amazing and I have still so many things to share with you. So I, I, I think that I will be planning to go back to work on May 26th. And after May 26th, then we're gonna go to Facebook Lives on Thursday nights, not every night of the week. So, hi Stacy, you got toys, I know, so did I. I'm so excited because I got this in the mail today. So I will put, when I put my camera down, I will definitely, I can't show anybody the inside, but I can definitely show you the cover more. So, mm, so you're welcome so much for the Lives, Angela. It's been a pleasure to keep everybody engaged and active. I, um, girls, I, I'm, I'm pretty much set on my spring, and I shouldn't even say spring, it's my summer schedule. And oh, I don't know if I'm gonna kick my butt later <laughs> for, for this aggressive schedule, but there's a few things that we can just not not do in person. We have to do them in person is what that was supposed to sound like. So um, like the celebration, celebration. Isn't it amazing to think that celebration started January 3rd and it ended March 31st and we were supposed to have our celebration celebrations in April and then we were gonna have them in May and now we're having them in June. And I have four of them on the calendar because I had over 30 people who have earned spots at the celebration celebrations. And so I'm sad for people who have just started joining me now because, oh my gosh, the, you know, I, I think I'm gonna, I'll show it to you tomorrow night, but there is a sampler that um, my friend Jean and I created and it is from the, the detailed B set and it's a nine by nine and there was certain ways that you could earn a spot at this free event. So hi Arliss. Um, so, so yes, it seems like forever ago since we had like 
finished celebration and now we are already into the new catalog and three months later it's just it's crazy so oh arla's got her new catalog today too so it's like hot little like mailboxes around town here and everywhere for demonstrators who got their catalogs that's so exciting so so yes so so june is going to be very aggressive we've got all the celebration celebrations in the first week and then we roll right into a launch party for the new annual catalog and then the bundle class for June, the Ornate Garden, and then the monthly cards, oh my. Uh, and then for the July bingo. So girls, crazy, um, yeah. And then July, since I'm not going to Hawaii for the incentive trip, I've scheduled the classes so they're not all jam-packed in the last two weeks of July. They're spread out nice and evenly throughout the whole month of July. So yay to that, a little bit of wiggle room and breathing room. So, and then August is awesome too. So. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. And then come September, maybe we'll be stamping in my new she set. Yay, so excited, so awesome. Just a couple things, just a reminder, girls, I really appreciate and love it when you like, share, and comment. And I feel like I owe a couple prizes from the last few um, lives that I've done. So I don't remember if I gave away the one from Monday, but I know I didn't do Tuesday or Wednesday or tonight. So tomorrow night will be the grand um, revealing of the prizes for the lives this week. And so we'll give away like four or five of them. So, oh, Kelly's uh, my upline, Kelly. She is live right now too. So hi, Katie. Hi, Pamela. So we were actually live at the same time last night too. So that's what happens. And that's what's the nice thing about Facebook Lives is you girls can always watch the replay later. And if you can't make either one of us at a certain time, you can just watch them whenever. The good thing about replays is that if you're sick of hearing me talk, you can just stop me, start me, pause me, and back out and like let me go. So you're in control when you watch replays. So awesome. So yeah, liking, sharing, and commenting is awesome, girls. I really appreciate it. We are growing our base of 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 happy stampers so much. I love it. So and the other thing too is I really appreciate orders. So for tonight's class, I had 11 people sign up and I would have to say half of the people gave me orders for them. So I really appreciate the orders, girls. They help me keep going and I love when people pay for the, the class as well. So I just love when you girls, I love cutting paper. I don't know what it is about it, but when I can cut card kits, and share those card kits with you, it makes me feel good. So I appreciate and thank the 11 people that signed up for class tonight. And everybody else that's following along, you get to watch me make some cards and hopefully you feel inspired from it and you have stuff at home and you could potentially make these cards at home. So the other thing too is I wanna remind everybody that the game night and card workshop that I have on May 21st is like the due date for registration is coming up fast, it's May 12th and today is the 7th so there's about five days left to get registered for that and i would absolutely love it for you to join it's only 30 dollars to play the games and make the card kits and i bought some of the prizes for that night and i bought product out of the new catalog so there's gonna be a few bundles that are only available to demonstrators right now that i will be giving away as prizes hi kathy beck so that's exciting, yay. Um, also, let's see here. The other thing that I got is, we're gonna just look down here. So I don't know much, you girls, that's a lot of talking already. So let's just put the camera down here. And I wanna show you something. I always have my little cheat sheet of notes of what I wanna talk about, otherwise I forget everything. But look, oh my God, hi Bonnie. How are you doing today, girlfriend? Okay, my God, girls, look at it, it's here. So I cannot open this up though. I can only show you the outside and I can touch it and I can feel it for you, but it is gorgeous. The inside of this catalog is amazing. If you liked last year's catalog, if you liked the holiday catalog, if you liked the mini catalog, you are going to love this catalog as well. So I can promise you that. The other thing is, if you are my customer, so demonstrators will get this catalog. Like I just got this catalog in the mail today from Stampin' Up! because I'm a demonstrator. So all the demonstrators are gonna get this in the mail like now or relatively soon. But if you're a customer of mine and not a demonstrator, if you're a customer of mine and you've placed an order within the last six months of at least $50, you're slated to get one of these from me and either I've sent it for um, Stampin' Up! to mail it. Thanks for sharing, Bonnie. Um, I've either sent it to the notes to Stampin' Up to mail you your copy. Like I had about 20 people who are outside of Fond du Lac will be getting this mailed, but all the people that are local will be doing porch pickup. So that helps me 
give this catalog free to my customers. So I am super excited. And on top of it, I got, a, okay, so I made a pack that I wasn't gonna like show you girls a lot of like a revealing of catalog product, but I chose tonight that I wanna show you three things that I just got today that I'm in love with. And I think that there's a set in there called the Old World Set. And I just, I'm gonna only show you a couple of things. I promise I'm not gonna inundate you with a lot of new stuff because we're focusing on um, current stuff now, but this embossing folder is like old paper look. Um, it is gorgeous. So it is a new embossing folder that gives like this really crackly look of paper. So, oh my goodness. So hi, Wendy. The other thing here is, I gotta show you this. I'm in love with, I, like girls, before this room was like, full of classroom stuff. I used to have stuff on the walls that was decoration. And I had a big world map on my wall that I've taken down to put a TV up so that we can have team meetings and stuff. But there's this world paper. This is the memories and more cardstock pack here. And I just gotta see, I wanted to see it. Oh my gosh. So there's this globe in here and it's glossy. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like brass is in right now. So look at this paper. So there's little stickers, there's die cut embellishments. The back side has more um, for writing notes on. So the world is yours. So this is, yeah. And then there's those sides. And then, and then there's these little guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. So I'm in love. I love world stuff. I love maps. I love nautical stuff. So yeah, when Stampin' Up! does stuff like this, I love it. The other thing too that I wanted to show you that I'm in love with already is they did not have a brown ribbon. So girls, this is how I open up my ribbon. So if you can't get the end because it's like a pain in the butt, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is like the hardest thing to do in the world is to open up this ribbon without wrecking the ribbon. So yeah, you take your scissors and I'm not gonna, I'm struggling. So <laughs> let's just see here. I don't wanna wreck the ribbon, but let's see here. So sometimes what I do, is I squeeze it like this and I try to get my scissors right underneath there. Oh my gosh, that was easier. So there's a trick. <laughs> oh, come on, you little dog, get off of there. Okay, so let's see here. This is called, okay, I hate saying this word. It's F-A-U-X, faux suede. I wanna say fox, but it's faux suede ribbon. And it is, it has that suede look and feel to it. So, oh my goodness. So espresso. Espresso goes with everything. So, okay. Oh, okay, so that's all I'm gonna share with you of a new product right now because I don't want to get you focused on new stuff, but I wanted to share with you a little bit of excitement about what's coming your way in the near future. So, so the other thing too that they shared with us is a, a nice little beginner's brochure. So there's some stamp sets in here. So yay. So yes, Bonnie, I am, I have my whole schedule mapped out and we are definitely gonna do a card with that set, class with that set. I'm not quite sure exactly, but I can't remember. <laughs> so, all right. So what we're doing tonight though, girls. Hi, Dawn. I'm glad she, Dawn just literally picked up her kits like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so very happy. So tonight's class, is the in color class. And girls, I'll be honest with you, last year when we did the in color, it was a retirement party and we had balloons and we, my mom made dips and we had chips and we had food and it was a little bit of a party. We had wine and snackies. And so, um, yeah, I'm sad that we can't do that this time. So it's not really a, a party. I guess I'm gonna party here by myself, but we're gonna have the class anyways. So, oh, I forgot to tell you girls something. This catalog, and this new product can be yours. If you are a customer and want to sign up on my team, you can order some of this new product yourself in your starter kit. Okay, I had to say that because I had forgotten about that already. But back to our in colors. So I am super, super sad for the blueberry bushel and the lovely lipstick. I'm, I am partial, girls. I, uh, I do love these two colors, my favorite. Pineapple is great too. The Grapefruit Grove, I know that some people have a lot of love for that. And <laughs> I am not an orangey person, and Jean will be the first one to tell you she's an orange person and I'm a purple person. So together we make good cards. <laughs> but So when you go to your catalog on page 164, this is where it has the in colors. So they how they work their in colors is they're available for two years and they rotate them. So these were available in the 2018 
to 2019 catalog and 2019 to 2020 catalog. And then they rolled in here to um, the five new colors. So what's gonna happen is these are going away and five new ones are coming in and they are pretty too. So, you know, we are sad about these colors going and we're gonna give them a little respect tonight, but we do have five beautiful new ones coming. So when they have in colors, they have a lot of coordinating products with them. So in this case, there's the gross grain ribbon. And this is one eighth inch thick and it came in all five of the matching colors. Then you also have over here markers. So the markers come as a set. So everything's listed down here. And I'll be honest with you girls, I haven't looked to see what's already gone and what's not gone. Uh, but when this stuff gets to the end of a catalog, it's while supplies last. So you gotta watch that. So if you want stuff, you don't miss out. But these are the five markers that go with it. So those are markers. Then we also have the five ink pads. And so you can get one of each of the ink pads. And so they match. These also come with refills. So you can buy the refills here. Highlighting just means I have everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I think in this case it's retiring. So in this case, the re-inkers are listed here. And so you can get re-inkers. Now, some people wonder why they should get the re-inkers. Well, what happens is if you're going to be using these pads for a long time and you end up using them a bunch, what happens is the ink gets worn in the middle where you generally go to get your stamp and then you can re-ink it. The re-inkers are also really cool for techniques like the baby wipe technique where you put, um, you take a baby wipe like this on a plate and you pour the re-inker on it with a mixture of colors and then you stamp your um, stamp into it and then it gives you a really washed, cool, like rainbow look. So the other thing here, there's buttons. I'll be honest with you. I've not used these buttons, but I have them, but I've never used them for anything. So they match though very nicely. You can decorate the front of a card with a button. Actually on the cards that we're doing tonight, you could have potentially put a button in the middle, maybe, and then a little bow. So there was buttons that went with these. There's also matching designer series paper. So this was a pack of paper that contained all five of the colors and there's four patterns. So you get four sheets that are like gross green and the triangles, oh, diamonds. And then there's four sheets with the words and it says like create, share, ink, stamp, repeat. And so words small enough that when you use them on something, you don't really read them but you know that they're words. And on the back side of that are the mosaics, uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what the right word for that um, pattern is. But so then you get it with, so you have four different patterns and five different colors. So that is the designer series paper. So you can make awesome cards that coordinate with all the product. Uh, lastly, I think that's, oh, cardstock. So yay, you can get matching cardstock then. Blueberry ink is gone. Are you sure, Wendy? I just looked the other day and I think that it was still showing. So maybe we'll need to double check that. I, I was surprised when I saw it and maybe I saw everything else like the paper and the reinker and something else, but I could have sworn I saw the pad. Well, I would double check that. So this is the paper then. You can see how nicely everything matches. So you've got your all five of your colors in the coordinating cardstock. And then they also sell the cardstock in a 12 by 12 pack. So super cool. Awesome. So that's a little bit about what the in colors are and why. So what happens is Stampin' Up! Stampin' Up! Um, has the standard color families, neutrals, subtles, brights, regals. These are standard colors, but they watch the colors of what are very popular. And that's why they come out with these colors so that that's what's more current in the time period that they're offered. So that's why they have ink colors. So what we're gonna be doing tonight though, we are going, I had my dimensionals as a bookmarker here. So um, the, we are gonna be using the Abstract Impressions stamp set. Now, not necessarily on these cards, but I have a bonus card we're going to be making. So I try to keep these cards relatively simple for you to put together. So I, uh, I've already, when you get your kits from me, everything is either embossed, it's die cut, or I do the punching. So when you girls got these cards tonight, there's not a lot to go into it. Hi, Linnea. Hi, Sedona. <laughs> I hope, hope you girls had a good day today. So when you get these card kits from me, like 
generally all you have to do is the stamping. And so this one in particular, I designed this with one, with the only stamping that would need to be done would be on the inside. But, so that's why my bonus card tonight involves the stamping using this abstract impressions. So when you look at the catalog, you can see that it has a coordinating um, die called Springtime Impressions Dies, page 195. So I go back here where I have that marked with some dimensionals, and you can see right here the Springtime Impression Dies. And it has the butterfly, and it has this big flower cutout piece, and a little flower. So this is the die set that I used tonight to make these cards. And I, for as long as, for as, as what's, how do I want to say this? As well, as long as I know, <laughs> I think they're still available. <laughs> so that was really hard to say. So here's the stamp set that we're going to be using on our bonus cards. So stick around for after these five cards are made. I'm going to show you how to make this simple, easy, very pretty card using the flowers uh, from the stamp set. So that's where we're going to use the stamps. And then for tonight, though, let's take this out and set that there because I know the plastic glares. So for tonight, though, for these five cards, it was really pretty simple. The background is embossed with the Scripty embossing folder. The Scripty folder is carrying over, and it is um, one of the new embossing folders that Stampin' Up! came out with, and you would use a blue plate with this. Hi, Nicole! <laughs> So um, this is the scripty. So when you run this through, your paper comes out of here and it is embossed. And I know in the light, you can barely see it, but there's a little, oh, there you can see it. There it is, the texture. So um, a big shot is what you would use to do the embossing. And right now Stampin' Up! does not have a big shot, but happy news, there is a big shot coming in the new catalog. So for those girls and guys who have been waiting for a big shot, just know that it's gonna be here really soon. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to order it right away in the beginning of the catalog period because of how what's going on with COVID and shipping and all that kind of stuff, but it is gonna be available soon. So, so what I've done here ahead of class and all the people who have the card kits already, you've received five pieces of in color paper and they are all four by five and a quarter and they've all been embossed and there's a top and a bottom to it. Like you wanna make sure that there's words here <laughs> and it it's really hard to read them, but you don't want them to be upside down because leave it to the person you give it to, they're gonna figure out that it's upside down. So you do wanna make sure that your pieces are all facing the right way. And I'll tell you, I have no idea how I put them in your kit, so don't trust the way that I have them. So, so there you go. So you have five of these pieces in your kit and they are already embossed for you. Then what I've also got in your kit are five pieces of designer series paper. So you just saw how I said there's four patterns to each color and you only get four sheets of each one. So some of you will have gotten this pattern with the words on the back. Some, which actually these words match the words of like the same kind of font of the embossing folder. So some of you will have received this pattern and some of you will have received, it's really hard to see it, but they are triangles. And so I tried to give you a mixture of, I don't know, some of each. So just know that you're not gonna all have the same and it might not be the same as the sample that you see tonight, but you can choose any, any pattern that you want. If you like this uh, checker gross grain pattern, you can use that. If you like the words, whatever you want. So you have five of these. The other thing too, girls, if you ever get a kit from me, and it's missing something, you got to tell me. I do my best to get you like everything perfect and sometimes that fails me. <laughs> I also gave you five little white squares. These white squares measure, I believe they are two and three eighths by two and three eighths. So they're just a, a square. So they are going to be used for layering on our squares that are colored. Then everybody's received these butterflies that are already die cut. So I was a, man, a woman on a mission on Sunday. I die cut out 60 butterflies because I made 12 kits times five. <laughs> so I was a butterfly making machine on Sunday. So I have not picked out all your little pieces. So when you run this die through the big shot, I generally like to run it back and forth for sure. Then I check it and I flip it over. And if I see that it looks like it's really cut good, I'll be okay with it. But if you look like it's not, like you're looking at it like, oh, it doesn't look like it's cut, you wanna run it back through one more time, back and forth. So now that you have this die, Stampin' Up! sells this foam pad 
and it also there's a brush that goes with it and so what makes it really easy to get this out of here is you run the brush over the top of the die and I've generally done that for you but then what happens is there's still a few pieces that are stuck so I've pulled all your pieces out like this it's always a good habit too to poke out any little pieces that might have gotten left and so now you have a butterfly. So you girls that are watching me, what you're gonna wanna work on, you know, the girls that have the kits, you're gonna wanna pick out your little bits of pieces that need to get popped out. So I honestly, <laughs> I don't mind cutting for you, but I'm not gonna sit there and poke out all these little pieces for you. <laughs> so here's my trick. Oh, hi, Dusty. <laughs> I got a gal porch pickup. Sue, if you're watching, your daughter just come and came and got your catalogs. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. So, so you girls, just so you know, too, I have extra old catalogs. They're not old. They're still current right now. Uh, so if anybody needs catalogs to look at, to cut up, to do whatever you want with, I have like, like 50 or so catalogs of the mini and the annual catalog. If anybody's looking for a catalog, just let me know. So for you girls that are making the cards with me, make sure you get all your little bits, piece, uh, little bits poked out. Okay. So that's all done. Now what we've got here is five card bases. <laughs> I actually have my door open right now, girls, and I'm outside, Not I'm not outside, I'm looking at the outside and it's so beautiful. I don't even have the heat on anymore, so. <laughs> so, okay, so we have eight, this is eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter, which is the center of a piece of paper here. So what you're gonna do, I have your score. Whenever you're using thick white paper, you always wanna score it first. And you can see there's a little score line here right in the center. You can score it using our paper trimmer, which has scoring blades, or you can use it, uh, the Simply Scored tool, which is $30, but worth its weight in gold. So grab your bone folder and you're gonna burnish the edge of your card base here. So, so now we've got just a half a sheet of paper folded in half, but with that thick whisper white, if you try to fold that, without it being scored, you are definitely going to have some problems. It is going to leave creases in your card base and you're not gonna like that and you're gonna be sad. So always have to score. So the thick white is available and Stampin' Up! also has the thick vanilla and they make great card bases. So Nicole, you're watching right now. If you're interested in making your thank yous for your wedding, this Thick white is a great choice for you or vanilla. And I uh, I know you sent me a bunch of samples of what you were thinking and I have some ideas for you and what, you, what I think would be easy. Oh my gosh, if you're making 150 wedding invitations, that's a lot of work and you wanna keep it simple, right? So what you're gonna do now, you've got all your five card bases folded and you're gonna take and flip over your mat here, which is your, I'm gonna start with pineapple. So girls too, when I did this class last year, people were mixing and matching the card color, like the colors. So instead of doing monochromatic, like blue and white here, they were doing like, they like, okay, pink and yellow with the white. So just know that you can make these cards completely different than I'm making them right now. I always tell my gals in class, when it's it's your card, you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> the other thing too is you wanna pay attention to the direction. So when before you glue this down, decide what piece of design you want up. So if you want that or if you want the diamonds and if you want them going left and right. So I just have this piece glued down uh, with the liquid glue. If you have your snail, that's fine too, or your tape runner. And what you're gonna do is just center this as best you can, left to right, up and down. And now you're gonna take your white piece here and let's see here. So you've got dimensionals, they come in mini and they come in regular. And so I'm gonna take and put four dimensionals on the back of this. Hi Diane, thanks for watching. And we're gonna put those on the back of this white. So. When it comes to using dimensionals, girls, honestly, it's your own personal preference. I love to give height and dimension to things, but some people also like to leave things more flat if you're gonna mail them and you don't wanna have any problems uh, running it through the post office. So I like to add a little bit of dimension where I can. So now our butterflies. 
So this is really important, and Bonnie will be very proud of you when you Stella the heck out of your butterfly. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Anne. So this is a Stella pen. It is God's gift to stampers, I think. It is controlled glitter, and I generally try to use it over the top of my work surface and not on my project. Uh, if you go like this, it's going to get glitter underneath. Again, it's controlled. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't flake. It doesn't end up in your eyes. It doesn't end up on your husband or your boyfriend <laughs> or the dog or the cat. <laughs> it's actually really controlled. So like once you brush it now, it doesn't, oh, it's wet right now, but once it's dry, it doesn't fall off. <laughs> so um, here's our little butterfly that is stellar. And what I've done is I've already pre-cut some of my edges here. So know that when you finished your dimensionals, you can definitely use the edges of them. So I cut myself a skinny little piece like this, and I'm gonna put this on here. So girls, just know that you have a, a boatload of pearls in one of your kits. So you should have five big ones, five medium ones, and five small ones. Hi, Rhonda. And so they're all in one. Oh, Angela pre stellar her butterflies, cool. So I have all of your pearls in one of the envelopes. They're not all cut separately. So my Stella is a little bit wet here, so I'm gonna give that a second to dry. So I might as well go ahead and Stella this one. So what you girls can do, um, you can go ahead and Stella all your butterflies at the same time, or you can do them one by one. But basically what you're gonna want is to Stella all your butterflies. And my Stella is rejuvenated. She was drying up on me actually. And so what I've done is I, uh, I, un <laughs> I, uh, I took her top off and I pulled out her bottom <laughs> and I added water <laughs> and um, some rubbing alcohol to her. And now she is hot to trot again. So she's doing a good job for me. Um, so just know that your Stella can last a really long time if you um, add more water or rubbing alcohol into the barrel of it. So um, like you'll get glitter for a long, long time. So again, now what I'm doing is gluing down my lovely lipstick piece and then grab your uh, designer series paper and that can get glued. Again, you can mix and match yours if you want. You can decide what size you want. Now this is a great layout, girls. If you don't have these in colors, you could use anything. You don't even have to use, hi Karen, you don't even have to use designer series paper here. You could use a different color. So, all right, so after that, we're gonna do the white. So I think you girls are getting the drift on how to put these cards together. I was really proud of myself when I made this card. I felt like it was a really pretty card and it, it didn't take a lot of effort. And actually, there's no stamping <laughs> involved whatsoever. But I am gonna show you after this one, I think you girls have the, the trick on how to put these together. So let's get our pink one here. I wanna show you what I would do in the inside. So it's always nice to decorate the inside of your card um, so it matches. So, and I wanna put some pearls on here. So, so there, I've put two cards for you together. So what you can do is you can keep assembling while I keep rambling on and put your cards together because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some pearls on. So. I, uh, I gave everybody five of the big ones and then there's five of the small ones or the medium ones and five of the small ones. So that one's a medium. So I got my nails back, girls. We started doing these live seven weeks ago and seven weeks ago I broke off three of my nails and I'm so happy to report that I have them back. So I like to use my nails, but if you don't have such good nails, there's two other options you can do your scissors, Gina, my friend taught me this. You can pick the pearl up with the scissors like, like I'm doing, carry it over and place it exactly where you want it. Make sure you press it down good so that it doesn't pop off. So there's, there's one and we're gonna stamp the inside in a second. So I wanna show you to another trick for putting your pearls on. So instead of using a scissors, there's this take your pick tool. It has a pokey end and you what you do is you get your pokey end underneath, <laughs> I think. See, I'm not so good at this one. I don't practice a lot on this, but oh my gosh, see, I don't even do it so good. So <laughs> laugh at me, yes. So there, pick it up with your pokey tool, put it where you want it, and then you kind of like slide your pokey tool out. So that one's a little more difficult for me because I haven't mastered that one, but watch this. This little guy slides out and you end up with a 
spatula looking tool. And you can use the spatula to pick up your, your pearls. So this slides under there a little bit better. <laughs> See, that was easier. And then what you can do is slide it off of here and then use the tool to go where you want it. And then you can, I, I still, I'm a master of using my nails, girls. So this is, the struggle is real. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Oh man, there it is. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna pick the little guy up and I'm gonna use my fingers and my nails. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there it is. See, <laughs> boom. All right. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> you, so Diane said she learned how to use this tool at the Jamboree. So on the other end, I failed to mention to you, there's a putty end. Oh girls, <laughs> this is the easiest thing to do actually. On the other end here, there's a putty end. So watch this. With the putty end, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, you take and you push the pearl off and then it should, should <laughs> I should quit now, but it sticks, it generally sticks to the putty end and um, we're gonna get this. So there you go. So the putty end is meant for picking things up. So <laughs> the struggle is real with this tool for me. So I'm so good at using my nails. All right, so that's what you're gonna do with your pearls. So let me get these guys out of the way. So there is a cover that comes on this on both ends. And so that keeps you protected so that you don't poke yourself. So what I would do on the inside here though, so let's get some room here. So in this stamp set, so I know Becky owns this stamp set, there's a couple flowers. This is called three-step stamping because you can stamp this flower three times. And there's the, the leaves here are, or like the stems are two-step stamping. And then the flowers are two-step. And this right here, you're wondering what the heck is that? It's actually a butterfly. So I wanna stamp the inside of this so you can see how some of these stamps work. So. This is the lovely lipstick, and what I've got here is this stamp is, I believe, that one, and then there is another little guy right here, and this is the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp a little butterfly, and you're like, how are you going to get a butterfly out of that? But trust me, it's going to work. So what I'll do is I'm gonna just show you on my purple paper. Hi, Renee, hi, Lisa. Okay, so here's one, and then here's the other. So, and then what you can do if you want, stamp off, and then what you can do is fill that in to get a little bit of shading, just like that. Okay, so that's what you can do. Um, there's also one more in here. Let me just show you this one. I think that this one, and then there's one, I think that's it. So let's get that stamped off. Girls, it's always a good idea when you're done stamping to clear off, clean off your block. So this also could use be used to, when you stamp off, that could fill in like that too to make it look a little bit bigger like that. So, okay, but let's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna make a little butterfly with this one. And I like to have it, so a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll put it down in the bottom corner, but in this case, with it being a butterfly, I, um, I'm gonna put it up at the top here. And actually what I'm gonna do is, oh, girls, wait, we're gonna stamp thank you in here. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for being awesome. That's what's going on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp it in black for a sentiment. So I'm using my memento pad. Angela, your memento pad is not in, I'm sad to say. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp thank you right here. So girls, any sentiment that you have will work just fine. And actually what I'm gonna do is only make it look like the butterfly's perching on the thank you here. And then what happens is stamp off. So you get this at second strength. And that's, so this is called abstract impressions. A lot of people have a hard time with this set because because it's abstract. It doesn't fit exactly inside things. So just know that um, things aren't gonna line up perfectly, but there is a little body in here. Ooh, it's so cute. Okay, so you gotta be really careful with this one 
because the body <laughs> is so small. And what we're gonna do is black, grab the black ink here and we're gonna stamp its body like that. Okay, so there's what we've done. We've actually only used half of the butterfly and we made it look like the butterfly is just perching right on the, the sentiment. Thanks for sharing, Diane. So that's how I would use this butterfly. Um, it looks kind of wonky like that. <laughs> so don't even look at that, <laughs> but go with that instead. So there you go. And then you could do this butterfly. Um, you could put another one on. No, nah, it wouldn't really work that way. The butterfly has got to be sitting over there. So, but here's what we can do. So clean up your, your, so if you've got the in colors, you can go ahead and use them. Or if you've got other colors that are very similar, that will work too. But here's what we're going to do. So we're going to clean off our pink. So you got to make sure you clean off really good in between because you don't want to risk getting any of your pink ink in your yellow ink. So we've got that clean. So now go to your yellow one and we can stamp. Oh, I got this guy here. So we're going to do our thank you. So just a little note about the memento. Hi, Jean. When you use the memento, well, when I use the memento, I like to wiggle back and forth a little bit to make sure I get ink all over. And then I tap it a couple of times like that. The memento is a fabric pad, so you can squish a little bit harder in that pad. And then when you stamp your image, just make sure you go straight down, straight up. And there you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little yellow butterfly and make sure he's cleaned off good. And this one's gonna be in pineapple punch. It's gonna be perched right on here. And when you do your second one, just make sure to stamp off so that it's at second strength. Hi, Patty. Okay, so that's like this. And that's gonna go right in there. And now we just gotta get his little body or her body, whatever it is, like that. There you go. Okay. So now what we're doing is we're coordinating our insides to match our outsides. So we've got the butterfly on the outside and we've got it on the inside and we've matched the pineapple punch. So, all right. So how are you girls doing that are following me at home with making the cards? Are you getting them okay? Do you have any questions? Just make sure that you, if you have any questions, you can message me right now while we're having the class. That is quite all right with me. And... Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to put these guys off to the side. I think what we're going to do is instead of putting the other three cards together, because the other three cards, I mean, are basically exactly the same here. What you'll do is just glue pieces down, sell your butterfly and pop them up. So, okay. So that's what I've got for, for this is your in color class. So now what you can do is we're gonna make another card. This is a bonus making card that you get to watch. I didn't make kits for this because it wasn't part of the class, but I thought, well, I have an awesome card that needs to get put together. I've got ink pads everywhere. I'll put this over here. So I thought, well, why don't we put this card together? And this is it right here. So this is using this abstract impressions, but it's using these two stamps right here. And it's also using these two right here, which are like stems. It's a very actually simple card. The layout is very easy, and um, but the concept is so cool. It's like, to me, this looks like these flowers are in the middle of a picture frame, kind of. And it's a, it's a red picture frame. So I thought, let's make this card. So, all right, let me get my pearls out of the way because we're gonna be using diamonds for this one. Diamonds are forever. All right, girls, so here we go. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. <laughs> I think you are. Angela said she's doing good. Jolene's good, that's good, awesome. So um, we've got a thick whisper white card base again, and I do have it scored right down the center. It's your eight and a half by five and a half. All right, so that's gonna get folded. When I fold, I try to, I don't just slap it down. I do try to match up my corners so that the card is straight. Okay, so like that. Grab your bone folder and burnish the edges. All right, so now we've just got our card base. Now, at first look, you girls are thinking, well, there's a bow right here and that there's black here, but this is actually not ribbon. This is trick ribbon. <laughs> It's actually a little black strip of a scrap of black paper. So this is a cool concept, girls. So don't feel like you have to 
figure out how to attach a ribbon. Like, oh, look at this. This is a swap card that I copied from somebody. <laughs> I actually did this for a class, I think, way back a year ago. Uh, I think it was make a card, send a card. So Bonnie, you may have made this card. So this actually looks like ribbon, but it isn't. If it was ribbon, you'd actually have to attach the tails behind here. You'd have to bring them up somehow and hide them. Like what I would probably do is bring them from the bottom and wrap them behind. But this is actually just a piece of black paper and it's really thin. I'm gonna guess it's like a quarter of an inch. It's actually three eighths of an inch. So it's three eighths of an inch and it's five and a half inches long, and it really looks like it's the ribbon, but it's not. So this is, actually this re this ribbon has retired. I believe it was uh, in the annual catalog for last year, but I have this kit still ready to make. So uh, they this was in last year's annual catalog and it carried over. So this was the black shimmer ribbon, but they have a regular black ribbon that you can use that's a black satin ribbon. And all you do in this case is, I'm just prepping this. This is just tying that in in a knot like that. And that's what's gonna go on the side of the card over there. So I'm just gonna set that over there. I'm gonna set my black piece over here. We have a piece of Whisper White. I'm just gonna grab my ruler again, girls, so I can tell you some measurements. This is two and a half by two and a half. Perfect, so, so that's two and a half by two and a half. That's what we're gonna use on the top. Our black piece here is two and, ooh, it's two and eight, nine, 10, 11 sixteenths <laughs> by two. It's like two and 11 sixteenths or like two and five eighths, whichever you want to go with. And then the red piece here is it's three and a eighth by three and an eighth. So we just got some squares going on girls. That's all that is. And the red is just a really thick border. So, so this is basically ready to go. So what we have to do is a little bit of stamping. So we have here, this is gonna be called two-step stamping. So we have the thicker of the, the stems and then we have the little thin outline. And so this is where I tell you girls, like it's abstract. Like they aren't gonna match up at all. So we are using here Granny Apple Green for our green color. And you're thinking, um, there's two colors of green there, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it seven six? Um, maybe if I've had a couple of drinks, Patty, it could be seven six. That would be funny. <laughs> so, oh, I, I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> seven sixteenths or seven six? I'm like, well, seven six is like what and a six, isn't it? I'm not sure, but okay. So you've got a lighter green and a darker green, and you get that look by stamping this off. And um, the thicker one is going to be lighter, so you're going to have. You know, so you gotta kind of go like the, it's like the leaves or the stems are coming out of the, the black piece here. So I'm gonna stamp this right here at second strength. Now I'm gonna do another one right next to it. And again, try not to go, you gotta have your imaginary line here so you don't go too low. And then what you're gonna do is stamp off here and kind of use a guide over here and <laughs> try not to go up too high or too low. And here we're gonna do another one. Now don't worry about the middle here. The middle is actually gonna get covered up. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we gotta go back to this little guy and there's just one set of this one and it's stamped right about here. So you can tell that I did not put <laughs> the stamp necessarily on the block straight. <laughs> so I'm holding the block crooked and that's okay. So you just have to make sure that when you're stamping, you look at your image when you're stamping. Okay, so that's the light now. We're gonna go to the dark. So this is the more detailed one. Now this one we're gonna stamp at full strength and that's gonna go kind of like right over the top of it. I did not honestly look to see if I matched up anything. All I knew is that at first strength, it's gonna be so much darker that you'll still see the light throughout it. So that's set for that one. Now go back to this one and we have to do some of the second or the first strength here. And now in this case, I'm only gonna do one of them on that side, and I'm gonna do one of them on this side. And we know that that's gonna be okay because our red is gonna cover that up. So there we go, okay. <laughs> so so that's how we did, the, this is two-step stamping. So the next here is going to be our flowers, but I wanna show you um, we'll stamp our flowers and then I'm going to show you what the three-step stamping is all about just so I can show you a technique. Okay, so now we have our flower, these guys. 
Okay, they look like little circles. And what they're gonna do, so this is real red. And these are gonna just sit randomly at the top of the flowers. So it's really how it goes. But we're only gonna be doing this on the center focal point right here. And it's gonna be something like that. I honestly, I covered up a couple of the greens. It's it's okay. <laughs> I'm like, it is what it is. So you have to be comfortable with it being abstract. Um, like in this case, it's lower. And you know what? This is a perfect example to show you girls. Like if you don't like something, honestly, all you have to do is flip it over and you can do it again. So there's two pieces to every piece of paper. So what I'm going to do just to show you how you can redo things if you don't like them. And I wasn't like not, not liking it, but I wish I would have put it a little bit lower because somebody's going to get this beautiful card in the mail from me. Um, so I'm going to bring that in and I tucked, you see what I did is I tucked it in. A, <laughs> they, they looked like they were floating in outer space to me over here. So what I've done is I've just tucked them in a little bit. And once you put this down on the black piece of paper, like you can see through it kind of with the light, but once you put this down on here, you won't see it at all. So there you go. All right, so that's <laughs> that's just to show you that you can use both sides of the paper. What I wanna do though, when we're done, help me remember I wanna show you a, the technique with three-step stamping with this stamp over here. All right, so now what you have to do is grab a little black marker, because I honestly, I, I think that this is just a black marker that I used, and you're just gonna color in the centers of your flowers to make them stand out. And there's, it's abstract, girls. <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason to it. So now what we're gonna do is flip this over. I'm gonna shut this just for a hot second. And now what we're gonna do is glue this. Now girls, any flower stamps that you have at home would work perfectly fine for this. And um, you don't have to necessarily have this set, but I know Becky has this set. So Becky, you could definitely make that card. So here's another little tip or trick. You can see that there's a little dot right there. That's where you could pull out your ink eraser and get that off of there by just going in gentle little circles. It will, so red's a hard color to get off of there, but this little guy works miracles. Girls, if you don't have one of these, ask me where to get it and I will help you out because if you don't have that and you've just got ink on something, so it's basically taken it off of there. So it's really lightened it up. So, all right, so this is going to get put on to our red piece with a few of our dimensionals. So there's that. So again, make sure you're using the ends of your dimensionals. And so, see, this is where my nails come in really handy. So that's gonna just get popped up on here. Oh, isn't the red and the black so pretty? The red, the black, and the granny apple green, like they just go so nicely together. So what we're gonna do is this gets, this little black strip is gonna get glued onto the card. And I bet you girls that are doing this class, you're like, why didn't she give us a kit to make with this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I probably should have. Cause now I'm just torturing you, I bet putting a card together, but hey, you guys can get the stamp set yet and you can get the dies yet. They're still available. So now what I do is I generally always make things a hair over. So just pull out a scissors and you can just trim that off just like that. All right. And then, oh my gosh, girls, pull it off quick. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> it's underneath. I don't, I wove it through. <laughs> so watch this. This is what we do. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> and then we're gonna put this underneath here. <laughs> See, it's okay. I do things backwards too. So, all right, so now we're gonna get that kind of in there like that. <laughs> we're gonna be able to wiggle it a little bit. All right, I, knew, I wouldn't have caught that until I just looked at the card. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to put this where we want it right about here. And now we're going to, okay, I have it, good, I'm okay. Now I can put a little bit more glue on here. I was hoping that that wasn't gonna stick. So I got to pull it out. And now we're gonna put this down underneath here. 
make sure you get it lined up with the bottoms of your flowers. So like here, that little guy's hanging out. So we want to make sure he's down far enough. All right, boom. Whew, save the day on that one. Now what we can do is just grab a couple more dimensionals here and <laughs> no one will ever know. The secret is safe with us, right? <laughs> okay, then we have here our little bow like this. Now girls, with this kind of a, a bow, what you're gonna wanna do is use your glue dots. So grab glue dots and I like to use the pokey end here. So grab this. Put that over here and stick that onto there. And now that bow, that's actually laying pretty good for me. Like if it wasn't, I'd use more glue dots, but just take this, trim your tail like that, trim your tail like that. And we're almost done girls with this one. How are you girls doing the, with the class? Are you getting all of your cards put together? I'm hoping that you do. All right, so now what we're gonna do is grab a few diamonds. You're gonna sprinkle some love on your card with some diamonds. All right, just randomly. <laughs> there we go. How is that? Hi, Wendy, thanks for joining again. Hi, Carol. Nice to see you on here with us. All right, girls, how was that? Was that okay? My favorite part about this was the, the actually using um, paper here to make it look like there's ribbon wrapped around there. And it was actually, it was actually um, paper. So, oh yeah, the scissors. So I don't know where I learned that. I'm going to actually um, put one more little guy right here in the middle. But yeah, I learned that technique, I think from Doris Fryman, actually. She was my upline in Stampin' Up!, and before she chose to do other things. And I just remember her sniffing that. And it's like, well, then you can put dimensionals anywhere else you want. So so here's what we used. We used this abstract impressions to use. And now in this case, we didn't use any of the dies. In the other card, all we did was use the dies. So I wanna show you though real quick here what three step stamping is. So let's get this put away. So some of you, like back when I started stamping about 20 years ago, three-step stamping or two-step stamping was really, really popular. The problem with it, though, is we only had wood blocks, and it was really hard to see it. Like, it was really hard to see wood, the wood block. Like, you couldn't see behind it. So let's get this cleaned here. Oh, Wink of Stella, girls. Okay, yes, on the little flowers here. This is what was just recommended. So we are going to Stella them. You have to be careful that you don't hit the black like I just did there because it will bleed. So we, we're just gonna Stella them a little bit. Perfect. Thanks for sharing, Char. Okay, so I wanna show you girls some three-step stamping here. So I just I don't have enough blocks down here to properly show you. So let's get those clean. And then we'll put these away, girls. It's always a good idea to put your, your stamps away right away. Don't leave them on your desk, waiting for the cat to come and find them and knock them on the floor and then to get the cat fur on them. <laughs> All right, so there, I've got this one. So this is one of them. And what I'm trying to do is, there's a flat end here and there's a flat end that looks like it's here. So we're gonna put the flat end there and then there's a flatter end here. So I'm just trying to get my flat ends all on the bottom just because I feel like that's how this is going to stamp. So grab our red ink and actually this is gonna show you best on white paper. So ha, you can see where all I stamp off. So three-step stamping. So this is the most solid image that you wanna do lightest. This is the middle one. This is the middle one that you wanna do at like, I guess I would say a second strength, this would be a third strength, and this would be at a first strength. So when you ink up on this one, you want this one at third strength. So you're gonna stamp off, stamp off, hi Linda, and then you're going to stamp on. <laughs> the, the, whack, uh, the clapper. Okay, so then this one is at second strength. So you're gonna to wanna to fit that over the top of this at second strength like that. And then the one that's more detailed is gonna be at full strength. And I might've done this backwards, but maybe it should have been the other way around. 
So we're gonna try it again <laughs> because that's what it's supposed to, to look like. Like it's supposed to be one, two, and then three. And I feel like maybe this one should have been the second here, second. <laughs> that's looking better already. And then, oh wait, that's what I just did, girls. Isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. So we're gonna do this one there. Now this one at second. <laughs> you guys are laughing at me, I'm sure. And then this one at third. That's better. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. I guess my whole point is that I'm just trying to show you how like you have three images and they all layer on each other. You could, in essence, use three different ink colors. You could use a really light ink color, a medium one, and a dark one. But in this case, you can get the same effect by using just one ink pad and you get that, that look. And I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see like that is totally the right one and that is not the right one. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so that's how that works. So, um, so we did the two-step stamping here with this. So this also has that same effect with the two-step stamping. I'll show you how it stamps real quick. So let me get this cleaned up. All right, and get that. So I'll show you here, we had this one and this one. So Becky, I'm showing you how to use your stamp set in case you're wondering how to use this. So, all right, so this case, what we'll do is stamp off over here. And now this one is just accenting. So what you'll do is this one at first strength and you got you kind of got to line these up. What's nice is this is photopolymer. So that's how that looks. It just accents the sides of the flowers with that. So, all right. Cool beans and bagels. <laughs> oh, Sui, it's helpful. Good. I'm, I'm stamping it upside down. So I was hoping that that would help you. I'm not sure. Like when you see a stamp set like this, you're like, what do you do? So like here, this one and this one, I would stamp that one and the lighter color and that one in a darker over the top, that one in a lighter color and that one goes over the top, this over that, that over that. Here's our little butterfly body. And this like stamps darker and then that one lighter. Or you can use these two pieces actually to fill in your butterfly. Like that could fill in that and that one could fill in bottom. So oh. <laughs> Brandon loves that I'm cleaning my stamps. I love it. Oh my gosh, Angela, it's Brandon's birthday tomorrow, isn't it? It's like on the 8th. I think it is. So that's exciting. His birth or did you, the birthday party is tomorrow, I think. So yes, everybody, make sure you clean your stamps when you're done using them. It is good, good habit. So Becky, I'm really excited to see what you make with this stamp set and the, um, the dies that you got. All right, so there, Brandon is really proud of me because I just cleaned all of the stamps. Let's see here, maybe, yep, that's clean. Boom, clean. I made a hot mess of red ink here for you girls and I really didn't even get any ink on my hands. So that's awesome. So, all right, we did it. How did you like that? We had our in color class and we had a bonus card that we made. And I'm like, my, my sleeves are falling off and you guys are seeing everything. So there you go. So, oh, yep, Angela said the birthday party is tomorrow. So that's excited. So everybody gets Brandon's birthday tomorrow. And um, Angela's throwing a birthday party for him. And she did it like through a Facebook event. And, and she invited me. So I can't wait to join that tomorrow. So Brandon has a special prize, a special gift from, from me tomorrow. So I can't wait for your mom to give it to you, Brandon. So, all right. So we just did all of the in colors. And just so you girls know, some of this in colors still available. Wendy, when I get off of this Facebook Live with you and all of you, I'm gonna check on the blueberry bushel ink. Cause I know you said that you tried to order it um, the other day and I thought I saw it just like yesterday that it was still available. So I'm putting my stamps away. Can you tell I'm multitasking? <laughs> so, um, so yay. So tomorrow is Friday. It is May 8th and it is Soledad and Aaron's wedding anniversary. And I think that they've been married for 10 years and it snowed on their wedding day and I was a bridesmaid. 
And I just remember being in a bridesmaid dress and it's snowing and we played volleyball in our, in our, our, our formal attire, if I recall that correctly. So that is tomorrow too. So lots of celebrating tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do a Facebook live tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make a card with you. I have a card kit of something that is from a blast from last year. And we probably reviewed it in our review party. So um, I think that's what we'll do tomorrow. And I think I'll try to do it right away after I'm done with work at five. And then uh, I'm going to be working on card kits. So just a reminder, girls, I am going to flip this back down so I can show you. I have this card and these two cards. And this is for my May monthly class. The card kits are $12 or free with a $20 order. And I have, I'm so excited, I have 22 people signed up. So I am gonna be making all of this tomorrow, all my kits tomorrow night after we're gonna do, do the live. So you have until tomorrow to let me know if you still wanna RSVP for this class. So just know that I'm giving you till tomorrow because I, I um, I'm not gonna work on it right now. <laughs> and I'm not gonna work on it during the day tomorrow because <laughs> I'm gonna be busy working on work tomorrow. But after work tomorrow, I'm gonna be working on those kits. So you can still sign up for that class if you want. So super excited about it. So it was not available then, Char. Okay, so Char is telling me it's not available too. So I must have seen some other blueberry stuff that is available yet. So, okay. So um, yeah, so just so you know, girls know, the monthly class is still available. Sign up for my game night if you so desire. I would love for you to join me and the schedule. I think that I'm ready to publish the schedule. I'm a little bit leery to publish the schedule because I'm afraid that we're going to be said that we have to stay at home next month, but I don't think that's going to happen to us. I'm hoping that we are going to be safer stamping together starting May 26th because I already have six people signed up for fun folds on the 27th girls. So I think you girls are getting ready and you're itchy to, to stamp together. So <laughs> I have to clean up my hot mess of everything around me here <laughs> to get ready for you. <laughs> I kind of took over my whole classroom with myself. <laughs> Poor Tyler. He thought we'd have a table to eat at when, <laughs> when I stopped having classes in person and basically not. So, all right. So anyways, I hope you girls had fun tonight stamping with me. I'll be back live tomorrow around five o'clock to make a card with you. And we're also going to announce who the winners of the, the class, the card we made, this one tonight. And we made, um, I'll do a sailing home card, another one, um, for a prize. And yeah, I'll announce all that. So girls, you have a great, and boys, <laughs> have a great rest of your evening. I kept it a little bit shorter and sweeter tonight so that you can still make some more cards if that works. So it was great spending part of my Thursday night with you. And I look forward to the next one. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, lots of sunshine and happiness. Hugs to you. Bye.